Have you ever heard of Russia's anti-drone system, Yolka or Volka? Recently, a video circulating on Telegram caught the public's attention. The footage, which appears to have been taken in 2024, shows a dramatic moment when Russia's anti-drone system, known as Yolka, takes action in the sky. In the video, a Russian soldier launches a compact drone into the air. It doesn't take long before the drone speeds up, chasing down and colliding with a Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicle, destroying it through a kinetic impact, much like a kamikaze drone. This clip highlights how the landscape of modern warfare has changed significantly. The battlefield is now dominated by fleets of drones operating almost continuously. Their role is no longer limited to reconnaissance. They are now actively and effectively destroying various military equipment and heavy armored vehicles, including Max Pro, Striker, and even Leopard tanks. The massive presence of drones has forced both Russia and Ukraine to rethink their tactics. Russia, for example, has become increasingly cautious about threats from Ukrainian-launched aerial vehicles. In response, Russia has quickly developed and implemented various anti-drone systems at the front lines. One of these is Yolka, though this system is not the only one. How far has the evolution of Russia's anti-drone systems progressed? Let's dive deeper. In the shadows of modern warfare, increasingly dominated by technology, drones now play a central role on the battlefield. According to a report by Bulgarian military, Ukraine produced over 1 million first-person view drones throughout 2024. Meanwhile, Russia claims to manufacture around 4,000 drones daily. Both countries are even aiming to double their production, reaching 3 to 4 million units by 2025. These numbers paint a new reality. Battlefield skies will soon be filled with thousands of drones every day, creating an unprecedented wave of unmanned attacks. Aware of this, Russia has begun preparing efficient and strategic defenses. One of their answers is Yolka, a simple, inexpensive, yet highly effective defense system. Yolka is a cost-effective kinetic solution specifically designed to tackle the threat of cheap drones in large numbers. Unlike conventional systems that rely on explosive warheads, Yolka destroys enemy drones by crashing into them at high speed. This method is reminiscent of the fire and forget principle used in portable air defense systems, but with a more economical and practical approach. The key advantage of Yolka lies in its simplicity. Its compact design and ease of use allow frontline soldiers to operate it with minimal training. This makes it a highly useful tool in the ever-changing dynamics of the battlefield. Additionally, Yolka is equipped with artificial intelligence to assist in target acquisition and tracking. Combining high speed, exceptional maneuverability, and intelligent algorithms, the system is claimed to have a high success rate in taking down enemy drones, such as Baba Yaga. Not stopping on the battlefield, the manufacturers of Yolka are also developing an automated version of the system, intended to protect military installations and strategic industrial facilities from aerial threats. This move shows that Russia is focused on the long-term defense of their vital infrastructure. Is an expensive and advanced air defense system really worth facing small, cheap threats like drones? One real example of an expensive air defense system is Russia's S-400. Designed to destroy high-value targets such as fighter jets or ballistic missiles, this system relies on very costly and complex missiles. However, when it comes to dealing with swarms of cheap drones, the cost efficiency becomes a major concern. This is where a more practical and affordable solution comes into play, Yoka. Yoka is designed to tackle threats from unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVS, in a more efficient and flexible way. Instead of burning through expensive missile ammunition, Russian forces can now deploy Yolka in large numbers. At a much lower cost, they can address the threat without worrying about depleting their missile stockpiles. Even more impressive, Yolka can be launched by a soldier using a handheld device. The AI-driven guidance system will automatically direct the attack on the target, reducing the need for highly trained operators and improving response speed. Practicality is the key to Yolka's design. Unlike large air defense systems like the Pantsir S1, 
which require large vehicles, complex radar, and trained crews to operate, Yolka offers exceptional flexibility. Russian forces do not need specialized vehicles or training to use it. Everything can be handled by a soldier in the field, with the help of increasingly intelligent technology. With Yolka, Russian forces no longer rely solely on centralized systems that are vulnerable to enemy attacks, but can instead distribute their defense power more evenly and effectively. Russia has recently launched an anti-drone system based on Electronic Warfare, or EW, specifically designed to counter Ukrainian drones. This system is one of the non-kinetic weapon options used by Russia, meaning it does not rely on physical impact, but instead interferes with the electromagnetic spectrum. The way this EW system works begins with detecting radio signals transmitted between the drone and its controller. Once a drone is detected, the system will attempt to neutralize it, using various methods designed to disrupt communication and control of the unmanned aerial vehicle. One of the approaches used is to send out stronger signals to overpower the drone's control signals. Another alternative is to spoof GPS signals to confuse the drone's navigation or even disrupt the video feed sent by the drone. If this system works effectively, it could severely limit the ability of Ukrainian drones to carry out their missions. The success of this EW system could provide Russia with a strategic advantage, as it increasingly relies on advanced technology to face threats from the air. Does Russia's anti-drone system have any rivals? That's all for today's episode, and thanks for watching.